What's going on everybody? Welcome to the image processing with Python. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about binary segmentation. So for binarization, we can specify the threshold value. Means pixels which are above specified threshold pixel will be 255 and other will be zero. But this technique won't work in different luminous condition. It is highly possible that our region of interest can be lost. So we prefer to use Otsu's thresholding method. From this method, we'll find interclass variance for every threshold value between 0 to 255 and choose a threshold value where interclass variance is high. So what is exactly interclass variance? Look at this picture. So here we have two classes. Suppose this is class A and this is class B. So basically intraclass means within the one class and interclass means between two class and the variance means the spread of the data set. So here in class A and class B, the spread of data is less, means points are very near to each other, means intra-class variance is low in this case. And both the class are far from each other, they are not overlapping, means inter-class variance is high. And the vice versa for this other image. Now suppose our histogram look like this. So this is background pixels. And this is foreground pixel. So by seeing it, you can definitely say that the pixel right to this point define foreground and left to this point define background. But how will computer know? So we can select the point where interclass variance is high or intraclass variance is low. Now suppose you are choosing this same point, okay? So the spread of the class A, now let's say this is class A and this is class B. So the spread of class A is this much and the spread of class B is this much. Means we can easily separate two class here. But by choosing this point, the spread of class B will be this much and the spread of class A will be this much. So means two class are overlapping with each other means we'll get low interclass variance but we need high interclass variance so for high interclass variance the point will be nearer to this, this point means we'll get threshold value around this point now let's see how we can do it with mathematics and through code so check out this example so in OTSUS, we find interclass variance or intraclass variance for every threshold value between 0 to 255 for image. Now suppose for this example, we reach that threshold 3. So for find interclass variance, you need to find variance, mean and weights of both the classes. So here image is 6 cross 6, means total 36 pixels are there. Now let's say this class is background class and this class is foreground class. So there are total 17 pixels present out of 36 in this background class. So 8 plus 7 plus 2, right? So weight will be 17 by 36, which is 0 0.4722. And to find mean, we will multiply 0 with 8, 1 with 7, 2 with 2, and we'll sum all and divide it by 17 because there are total 17 pixels present in this class. So this quantity will turn out to be 0 .4, 0 0.6471. Now to find variance of that class, we'll subtract mean value from the every pixel value that are present in class. Then we will square it, we'll multiply with number of pixels for each pixel values and we'll sum all these three quantity and divide it by 17. So here we are getting value around 0.4637. We'll repeat whole process for foreground class 2. And to find within class variance, we'll multiply background variance with its weight, foreground variance with its weights, and we'll sum them together. So we are getting value around 0 0.4909. Now let's see variance for all the threshold value. So here you can see the within class variance for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 threshold value. So here at 3, we are getting minimum interclass variance. So I'll choose threshold value 3. 
So that's all we do in Otsu thresholding. Now let's implement this whole process in code. So first import necessary libraries. So import numpy as np and from cv2 import cv2. Now let's read the image. So image is equal to cv2 I am read and my image name is flower dot jpg. So the resolution of this image is very high. So we need to resize it. So I'm resizing. Oops, here it is CV2. So right, CV2 resize. We want to resize this image into 800 plus 600 pixels. Now this image is RGB image, right? So we need to convert it into first gray image. So let's say image gray is equal to cv2 convert color this is capital and image cv2 color so i think it's bgr2 gray okay now let's visualize it So say binary and image is image gray and cv2 weight key 0. Okay, let's hit the run button. So you can see that our binary image. Now we need to find the histogram of this image. So I'm finding histogram with inbuilt command. We can also find with a code which we have implemented previously. So if you haven't watched that video of finding histogram, please go and check out first. So for finding histogram, histogram, write CV2, calculate hist, we want to find histogram of image gray the minimum value is 0 right none maximum value is 255 the range is 0 to 255 okay let's see first histogram and let me comment this part Okay, so you can see here, let me expand it, so this is our histogram. Okay, now we want to find a within class variance, right? So define within a empty array. Now we are going to find a variance for each and every threshold, right? So write for i in range length histogram. So this value will get 256. Okay. Now we'll see it as we have seen in example. So write np dot split histogram into two parts now to find weight of one class write np dot sum x and so we were dividing by 36 in previous example so here we have so here we have total pixel values 800 cross 600 so to define it in general form right image dot shape zero multiply image dot shape one okay so these are 
weights of class 1. Now to find weights of class 2, we will repeat same process. The only change is here we will write y instead of x. Oops, I made some mistake. So let's correct it. Okay. Now we'll find mean of class 1 and class 2. So say x2 is equal to np dot sum. So let's say j into t. For j and t in enumerate x and we'll divide it by np dot sum x okay so this t is pixels for each and every pixel value so suppose there are 285 pixel for zero pixel value so t will return that value and j will return 0 1 2 indexing i mean so repeat same process for y2 also so let's copy it paste it right here the only change is here is y instead x here 2 okay so we have find mean also now we'll find variance so to find variance write x3 is equal to np dot sum square bracket j minus x2 which is mean value we are going to square it and we are going to multiply it with t so for j and t in numerate x right and we'll divide it with sum of total pixel present in class 1 and we'll repeat same process for y also means second class so let's say y3 here and instead x2 write y2 and instead x here change it y and y so let me first clear one thing so at i is equal to 0 means 0 threshold value you will get x array empty so here you will get first value nan for i is equal to 0 so let me show you what i mean so right here print x 3 okay oh this is histogram So, this value is nan, which you are getting. So, which is x actually this is value is should be zero because there are zero values present in this array. So, what we'll do, we'll write x3 is equal to np dot nn to number x3. So, this is one time process. Now, let's run the code. So you can see here we have made nan value as zero okay now that's it now only thing we need to do is to find within class variance so write within dot append will append every value so which weight into variance straight into variance of other class and we'll append every value in within and now at last we'll find minimum value from this within variable so write element minimum for within because we need index right now simply print it So for image of flower, we are getting threshold value equal to 102. 
okay now let's see how our image is look like for 102 threshold value now let's convert our image into a binary image by using 102 threshold value so for converting into binary image right okay threshold and this is our image binary cv2 threshold image is image gray and for n threshold value 255 cv2 threshold binary Okay, now let's visualize it. CV2 dot I am show say binary CV2 white key zero. Okay, let me uncomment this also so we can compare both images. So, this is Im image before binarization and this image after binarization. So, you can see a clear difference. And we have got almost each and every our region of interest. So, that's all we do in Otsul thresholding method. Now, here we were finding a minimum value for intra class variance. Now, you can also repeat the same process for maximum intra class variance. So to find interclass variance, you can use this formula, which is faster in calculation, right? Now calculate interclass variance for the same image and let me know if you are getting same value in interclass variance and interclass variance. But remember, in interclass variance, you will find a maximum value, right? So here, instead argument minimum, you will write argument maximum. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, let us know in comment section or mail us. We will try our best to solve your problem. And in the next video, we will try to cover morphological operations. Thank you so much.